going on YouTube family? Welcome back to rebirthedu.com. I'm your host Kendrick aka Oso the Great. Back again with the next installment of the seven habits of highly effective people. Uh, so this habit here is called put first things first, right? Primarily it's about prioritization, but this is really the, the action habit, right? So the first habit about being proactive is really about accountability, right? Um, recognizing what's going on within yourself um, so that way you can address it, right? Um, then the next one is more along the lines of you being able to imagine the best version of yourself and working towards that, building values and living within those values, right? And you're able to really kind of project that and imagine what that would be like and what your life would be like, right? Because you're you're starting with the end in mind. You're thinking about the end game, so you're uh, your, your, your thought process is of that and you're making sure that your actions are going to be conducive to what you want the end game to be. Well, this particular one is the action habit, okay? But before we get into it, I need you to take action. Hit like, hit subscribe if you're not down with the content. If you're not down with the content, hit it anyway, man. I don't care. Hit the Hit the dislike button. Put a thumbs down, you know. Throw some shade at me or something like that. I don't care. Just be active, right? Get out here. But if you do rock with me, man, make sure you hit the notification bell so you don't miss nothing. I'm dropping every day, no matter how tired I am, no matter how much I got going on. I'm dropping something every day, okay? So keep rocking with me, man. I rock with you guys. I appreciate all of y'all that are supporting the channel right now. Because that's a good look, man. I appreciate y'all. So, this is the action part of it, right? Put first things first. So, initially, it sounds like it's about priorities, right? Um, and that's, that's really a big part of it. However, this is the part where you've evaluated what's wrong with you because you're an awesome human being, right? And you're able to uh, self-reflect. And then what also makes you another awesome human being is that now you're able to project uh, what your future is. You can put the end in mind and now it's time to take action and start living the way that you want to be seen. Start living the life that you want to live. Okay. So, well, what does that mean? Let's give some examples to what that means, right? Uh, let's use, let's use myself as an example, right? Well, I know what I want people to say about me at my funeral. So part of the, part of the me putting th first things first, I have to make a plan, right? I have to make a plan for me to get to the end game. You know, I heard a cat told me one time. Um, he asked me if I had a plan. At the time, I didn't have no plan for anything, right? What's your five-year plan? What's your 10-year? What's your three-year? What's your, what's, your, what's your tomorrow plan? And I didn't have nothing, you know? And he said, young blood, listen here, man. If you don't have a plan for yourself, then that means you're going to fall into somebody else's plan. And you know what they got planned for you? Not a goddamn thing. And that was some real talk. Took a little while for that to set in, but it did. And I realized that, yo, I'm out here minding somebody else's business. And I'm not minding my own business. Right? So I had to have a plan. Right? I recommend you have a daily plan based on what you're going to do that day. Right? Uh, maybe Sunday night. Maybe Saturday night. You sit there and put your week together about what you want to accomplish that week. Set aside some time to get these things done and prioritize your life, right? 
Hey, man, that Netflix stuff is always going to be there. That Hulu, you know, all this entertainment stuff that you have on YouTube. Hey, that stuff's always going to be there. But how productive is that really for your life? Right? What value does that bring to you aside from just entertainment and you're not growing? Is that your end game? At your funeral, do you want people saying, man, you know, he really loved... He really loved YouTube videos. Man, he really loved listening to music and, and, and watching people twerk. And oh man, she really loved going to the club and just starting it out. Is that what you want people to say about you? That's not what I want people to say about me. So I prioritize my education. Every day, I plan to educate myself. I set aside time for reading every day. Every single day. Right? And that's me putting first things first for me. That's me prioritizing my time. That's me minding my own business, trying to be better every day. Because I'm looking at the end game and I know what I want people to see me as. Right? And I understand that it's an ongoing journey. And that's what this particular habit is about. Highly effective people or successful people, whatever you want to call them, they plan their day, they plan their lives, they execute those plans. This is the action that they take. It's not enough for you to just recognize the flaws that you have and the things that you need to work on to be the better you. It's not enough that you just project and imagine the better you and how that would look, how that would be and what that looks like. It's not enough just to do those things. Dreaming is awesome and it's important and I want you to have big dreams. There's a, there's a book we'll probably go through later on about you dreaming and creating this fantastic image of your life and the, the importance of the law of attraction and getting on these frequencies. And we'll talk about that another time. And all of those things are important. But none of them mean anything if you don't take action. If you just sit on your ass and think this stuff is going to come to you, it is not. And somebody asked me the other day, uh, they, they, had, uh, they had asked me somewhere along the lines of, uh, do I think people are what they think they are, right? Right? Um, and I, I don't agree with that premise at all. I do not think people are what they believe themselves to be, right? Confidence is great. It's good to have confidence in yourself. It's good to be able to see yourself as you, the person that you want to be. But that's not how the world works. We are not judged by what we think about ourselves. We're judged based on our actions, Right? I gave an example of a book called Crime and Punishment. There's a guy in there that he thinks he's a good guy and he thinks he's justified by going out here and committing murder. At the end of the day, he can think is he can think the best about himself. He can think he's, he's this awesome person. In reality, you're just a killer. Right? You can think you're a proactive person. You can think you're an awesome person. But if you're not getting the results and you're not putting out the work and you're not planning and, and doing the actions that get you there, you're not anything. You are what your results say you are. Okay? I can sit here and think that I'm the, the healthiest person alive. Let me give you some reality, fam. I'm fat. So it doesn't matter what I think about myself. I have to do the actions to not be fat. So that way, when I believe that I'm not fat and I appear not to be fat, then everybody else sees me that way too because I put in the work and got the results. Okay? So I want you to keep that in mind. Kind of process what I said. You know, I don't mind using myself as, as an example I don't mind reflecting on myself. Um, I don't mind pointing out the obvious things about myself 
because the results are what they are. And I know there are things that I need to correct, so I, I take the actions to correct them, okay? What you see right now, this old fat body that you see right now, it's not going to be like this forever. It's, it's slowly dwindling down because every day, take the steps. Every day, lose a little bit every day. And over time, over all those little bitty steps, you'll see it start to melt off. You're going to be like, yo, Ken, you got a neck? I mean, I ain't got no neck. Hey, look, even at my healthiest guy, I ain't had, I ain't never just had a neck. All right? Like turtlenecks. You know, that's, nah. Every shirt is a turtleneck. <laughs> this T-shirt, that's, that's a turtleneck. That's what the T stands for, turtleneck shirt. That's what's happening right now. <laughs> So yeah, man. Anyway, so that's what that's that's what that's about, man. Take action, get out here, make your life what you want it to be. All right. So on a side note, though, before I go, last video I was talking about that bowling game. Man, got a text message today. Somebody coming with the smoke. So you know what it is. Have to hit these lanes. I'm gonna have to show these boys what it is. I'm going to record it a little bit. I'm going to put it up here for you guys to check it out. That way, man, you know. You know. I got to show these cats what it is, man. Say this. It, it say, oh, so the great. You know, not oh, so the mediocre. What you think this is, fam? <sighs> it is what it is. All right. So, we'll see y'all tomorrow. I'll holler at y'all.